on this first day of hurricane season. We'll talk a lot about preparation and part of that is seeing whether improvements are needed like your home's ability to withstand a hurricane impact. Central Florida is booming with new construction, most of those built from wood or concrete block. But as meteorologist Candace Campos explains, there's a new player in the market that's using material you wouldn't expect that is rated to withstand a Category 5 hurricane. Custom luxury homes, multifamily, um, there are hospitals, there are sports arenas in Italy made out of this. Entire structures built using polystyrene. Now it has a look and feel of styrofoam, but with a lot more to it. So our panels are a polystyrene core with double galvanized steel mesh on the outside and then finished with two inches of concrete on either side. For Annette Rubin, CEO and co-founder of Vero Building Systems, bringing this innovative technology to Florida all started during Hurricane Michael. It was feeling afraid for my kids and for my family and not knowing if my home was safe enough. And now, five years later, the first model home is being built at their Kissimmee warehouse. Compared to wood and concrete, these large and lightweight panels can be much faster and a more efficient way to build from the ground up. So all the concrete cures at the same time and it is one structure instead of a two by four, a two by four, a two by four, and then drywall on the outside. Instead of many different pieces, it's one large piece that can stand alone. And stand up to major hurricanes, like a now famous home on Mexico Beach. So that was a big thing for me after Michael. That was all over the news that there's one home. Everything else was completely flattened. There's one home that made it. Inspiring Annette to help other families and communities be as resilient with the next storm. Florida is an incredible place to live and I would never want somebody to move down here and then have to be traumatized by not knowing if their kids are going to make it through the night, not knowing whether your home is safe. That was meteorologist Candace Campos reporting. For those wondering about price, Annette tells News 6 their prices are comparable to concrete block homes and about 10 to 20 percent cheaper than lumber and much more environmentally friendly.